wow 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 congratulations you made it today and you made it into a new month and you will definitely made it to the end of the year you will fulfill destiny in jesus name welcome to eagles devotional with papa ayo orisha java the lion of africa a voice to our generation these are words coming out from his spirit that he put in a book form that we are sharing with you. And my name is Pastor Leon Bullocks Brodo. Our topic today is the blood covenant. We're still on the blood issue, the blood covenant and platform. Subtitle Life. Life. And we are taking our Bible reading from the book of John, chapter 6, verse 53 to 57. If you have your Bible, you can open it. And in case you don't have your, you don't have ego's devotional, you can, there's a way you can get it. There's a way you can get it. Just reach out to us. You can get it. Because it will transform your life. People all over the world are using these then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood out, you have no life in you. He that eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. The life of the life Jesus referred to here is not just the life sustained by oxygen and carbon dioxide, but the God kind of life, what we call Zoe, the God kind of life. This life has no ending. It only has a beginning. It comes into you at your new birth. If you have received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you have received of his flesh and his blood. You have received of his life in you. You have received his life in you. Moses declared, in the, he declared, for the life of the flesh is in the blood and I have given it to you upon the altars to make an atonement for your souls for it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul Leviticus 17 verse 11 the life of the flesh is in the blood once he washes you his life comes into you it is his blood that gives you life, his blood. God still talking about the blood. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. John chapter 1, verse 4. It automatically means that when his blood washes you, you receive life and you become the light of men. In other words, your life shows the way that others follow. You are the light of the world. The world cannot understand you because the life of Jesus is in you. In John chapter 1 verse 5, it says, And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The blood gives you access to him and him to you. The blood sustains you. Your life is in him and him in you. If you do not have this life, you can receive him today. God's life is available for you today. In other words, God has taken care of all your afflictions. It shall not rise the second time. Amen. We're going to short break here. And after that, I'll share the word of God with you. Hallelujah. Welcome back to... 
of God. As we share the word of God, it goes devotional with Papa Ayo Orishe Jaffa, the Lion of Africa. We're talking about the blood covenant, but this time we're talking about life. Life. The life we're talking about is not just the life, just breathe your breathe in, oxygen, in breath out. No, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the God kind of life. The God kind of life. The life that comes from God. It comes from God Himself. And we call it Zoe. Zoe. It's a complete life that comes from God. And it's eternal life. Jesus was talking to His disciples one day. You know, and... Um, he looked at them he said he that eateth not my flesh and drink my blood hath no life you know so the life you can only have life coming from god himself jesus christ jesus christ jesus christ people people are scared of jesus christ i wonder why some people are scared of jesus especially the occult especially the 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 native doctors they are even afraid to call the name of Jesus. <laughs> even some, some prophets, some so-called prophets, they are afraid to call the name of Jesus. Jesus is alive himself. He told us, he said, I'm the way. John 14 verse 6, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No other kind of life. The life, he's talking about the Zoe kind of life, the eternal life that he comes, that he, that he gives to you. And this life can only come to you when you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. How long will you keep running away from God? How long? You have been procrastinating for a very long time. I'm going to serve God. I'm going to give my heart to Christ. I'm going to serve God. Oh God, if you can deliver me out of this problem, out of you take me out of prison, I take me out of jail, or, or deliver me from EFCC, or, Lord, if you can do this for me, I will serve you. I will serve you. And God does it for you, and you, keep, you still keep running away from God. When will you come to God? Beloved, as I speak to you, I feel the Spirit of God strong on me, speaking to you that today is your day of salvation. Stop procrastinating. Let Jesus come into you, and let the life of God come into you. The life of God will transform you. He would, he, the life of God turns a criminal to a saint turns a murderer to a preacher it doesn't matter how deep you've gone in sin if you dare to receive jesus into your heart today today oh boy i'm so excited for a family i'm so excited for that family i see a family gathering together and making up their mind to give their heart to Christ. I'm seeing a family, a father, a father of the home, the head of the home saying, I'm tired of living in sin. Jesus come into my heart. That's what we're talking about. You know, this same God turned the life of our father in the Lord around, changed his life. He's to, right today, today people talk about our father because God, he gave his heart to Christ. Words of wisdom the life is in the blood the life is in the blood the life of god is in the blood of jesus dare to drink the blood today dare to apply the blood to your life dare to open up your heart and allow jesus come into your life and when you do that the blood of Jesus will change you, transform your life, and the light of God will come into your life. And people be begin to look at you and desire to serve God because of the light that you carry. You know, as Christians, we are the light of the world. You cannot cover a Christian. Darkness cannot cover a Christian because that's why the Bible says, uh, you know, a city set on a hilltop cannot be hid. And when you light a candle in your in a dark room, you don't put the candle on the ground or you hide it somewhere. You put it on top of a bushel so that you can give light. So as Christians, we give light to our world. 
may your light shine and may people for, come to accept Jesus because of your light. I love to pray with you at this time. Heavenly Father, I thank you for our viewers. I pray, O oh God, as they have made up their mind, that family, that man, that woman, that man that is confused, that family that has made up their mind to say today is the day of their day of salvation. I pray, O oh God, that the blood of Jesus will come into them as they drink the blood, as they eat the flesh of Jesus and drink the blood by an act of accepting Jesus into their lives. I ask so God for transformation, radical transformation, that from today when people see them, they'll say, boy, what happened to you? What happened to you? And they'll be able to say boldly that it's Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I speak of victory into that family, into that life. Step into today with boldness and get what belongs to you. May God smile on you. May the favor of God rest upon you. May the God of our Father, Papa Ayo Oshijafo, bless you in a special way. We expect testimonies from you. God bless you. In Jesus' name.